nice to see you again. You'll be cooking with Jeff once again. So today we've got something for you. Today we're going to do a beer battered halibut fish and we're gonna fry it in a deep oil. It's gonna be absolutely phenomenal. So stick with us and let's get started. So let's talk about the ingredients we're gonna need. Again, as you know, I like to keep it simple and the ingredients are going to be simple. I have, as always, a beer, but today I'm using a stout. You're gonna need 12 ounces. I've also got cayenne pepper. I've got a full cup of flour. I've got baking powder and I've got some honey. And don't forget, you're gonna need a great big jug of oil. Use any kind of oil you prefer. I like to use vegetable oil, but anything you like will do. The last thing you're gonna need are two eggs. And I'm actually using duck eggs. When it comes to cooking, duck eggs are fabulous. They make your batters raise that much higher. They're fantastic and they're very delicious. Now, I have ducks, so that's the reason I'm using duck eggs. But if you don't have ducks or you don't have duck eggs, chicken eggs will work just fine. So let's talk about this fish you're gonna cook. We are cooking halibut. Go to the grocery store and pick yourself up a pound and a half of halibut. It's a little more expensive than some of the other fish, but well worth it. Okay, go ahead and grab your oil, fill your fryer, and let's kick that fryer up to 375 degrees. And while that is reaching 375 degrees, we're gonna go ahead and work on our batter. So just go ahead and fill your fryer. Okay, so we've got this preheating to 375, and we're gonna go ahead and work on that batter now. Let me uh, move the fish out of the way, and we'll pull our bowl in here. And we're gonna begin with taking our cup of flour, and we're gonna dump our flour into the bowl. Now we're gonna grab our cayenne pepper, and we're gonna put in a teaspoon of cayenne. So get that into your spoon and go ahead and dump that in and next we're going to put in a teaspoon of our baking powder and getting that in there is so nice teaspoon of that wonderful now we're going to go ahead and put in two tablespoons of honey the honey is really going to bring the sweetness out in the fish i'm really excited about this part so just go ahead and there's one tablespoon. And two. Now let's grab your favorite beer and add 12 ounces. I know once again, Jeff is cooking with beer when he should be drinking it. And there you go, 12 ounces, and into the bowl it goes. Lastly, we're gonna wanna take our two eggs, crack those into the batter. There's one, and two. Now, let's whisk this up. Okay, our beer batter is ready. It's gonna look something like this. So what I want you to do first is I want you to cut this halibut up into two inch squares, like so. Just get in there and cut a strip and another strip. And then you can come across and just get those two inch squares. Oh, the way this cuts is just fantastic. What a fish. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is grab some tongs and grab one of these pieces of fish and get it dipped into that batter. And just roll it around in there. And then you're gonna drop it directly into your hot oil. Wow, look at that. We're frying fish. And piece by piece, you're gonna wanna drop these in. 
and you're gonna wanna cook them for about two to three minutes or until they're golden brown. Wow, look at those. We are cooking fish, people. Oh, and the smell is just fantastic. Okay, so I've gone ahead and pulled them out. They're a beautiful golden brown, and I can't wait to taste one of these. Just look at them. They're beautiful golden brown. So now to taste it. Oh, look at this. This fish is cooked perfectly. Flaky. Go ahead and get your favorite tartar sauce. Oh, that is absolutely fantastic. Beer battered halibut. Enjoy.